Australia will soon be at the forefront of world-first research into motor neurone disease. AFL legend Neil Danaher has battled the disease for years, but he says he's now hopeful an $8 million research boost will lead to a cure for the devastating illness. Candace Wyatt has more. A football legend turned MND campaigner. What we say is, um, unless we fight, why should we ask anyone else? Struck down by motor neuron disease, Neil Danaher is on borrowed time, but he devotes that time to finding a cure. We don't think it's incurable. We think it's underfunded. Cure for MND today revealed it's handing out more than $8 million for research. The bulk of the money will go towards what they've named a clinical trials pipeline. Pipe dream now turned into a pipe line. Dr Bradley Turner has been researching MND for 15 years. Now he receives more than $3 million. So we have to claw it money, so th this is like winning tats. The Victorian government contributed $3 million, but much of the money has come from donations and last year's big freeze fundraiser at the MCG. The grants put Australia on the world stage as a lead MND researcher and cement the country firmly at the forefront in the desperate race to find a cure for a disease that has baffled the medical world for so long. We need our medical researchers to spend every day focused on getting those medical research breakthroughs. MND destroys the nerve cells that control our muscles. There's no cure, no treatment, and sufferers live for an average of 27 months. Neil Danaher has already outlived the statistic. You don't win the fight. You just hang in there. But we eventually all get knocked out. But I'll be around swinging for a while. Thank you. Candace Wyatt, 10 Eyewitness News.